Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Rainbow Rising. I have channeled messages for the Feminine Collective and anyone is welcome. Goddess Rising, beginning of everything. Number 1717, manifestations coming to life, fresh door of opportunities, confidence. Believe that you can, be willing to put in the work. But remember that when one door closes, five more open and never settle for something below your standards and these standards can be new so it might feel a little bit strange to suddenly ask and expect more but make sure you remember you're the goddess rising opulence abundance plenty coming in with your gifts presented to the world the more you give, the more you receive. But giving comes with the joy of giving. The key is the intention underneath every action. If you give because you want to receive, that's not a pure intention really. This is business. So remember, confidence of giving and you shall receive. The God, the God of fire, transformation. Divine couple. There is a shift and immense growth happening within a twin flame collective. And as much as I personally believe there's always other paths in life, we are not sentenced to live or choose our twin flame. If some of us do choose that path, I want to say that there is a transformation happening. And more than that, I hear divine masculine went to war with himself. Divine Masculine going within, being very brave and facing his shadow, trying to catch up with the feminine that's so much further ahead. Um, masculine at war with himself, at war with his demons. But this is a peaceful war because this is a war guided by love. This is transformation. This is transmutation. And this is progress, really. Even though facing what masculine doesn't want to face might feel like war. Divine Feminine, your love moves the world. Your heart, when you really show it, when you're not afraid to be hurt, is the key to all doors. Your vibration of compassion, your vibration of care, your vibration of nurture. It's not the word that you say. It's what you emanate. What walks even before you, in front of you. Your energy never lies. You might seem upset or guarded, but the love is felt within. And the love is always felt by the masculine, whether you choose him or not. I want you to understand the power of this dynamic, of this healing connection. <clears throat> yeah. 
even the video stopped. <laughs> These are the messages that I channeled. There's also um, something from the book, The Goddess, that I'm, that's my recent fascination, Power, Sexuality and the Feminine Divine by Sharuk Hussain. I hope I read it right. The divine couple is very strongly felt and is the focus of recent energy shift within the collective is the transformation of the divine masculine and it's the choices that he makes. I feel like Divine Feminine already chose the path of higher love, the path of ascension, the path of forgiveness, the path of unconditional love that's always there. But the masculine still faces the challenge of deciding which way he wants to go, whether he wants to do the work to change. Having the courage to change is another theme for both masculine and feminine. And one pulls up the other. The more confidence we have to put energy and effort into visualizing our dreams, the more we energetically encourage and support each other. We are being reborn connected with the ancient ones. The power of the ancient ones is around us, is within us, and is waiting for the right moment to be fully awakened. That's why it might feel so uncomfortable, because we are still purging old emotions, old pain. We might feel like we're going back. We're again in the anger. We are again somewhere where we thought we won't be ever again but that's just the leftovers that still need to be purged so be patient with yourself the wonder will come into your life i can already feel it Something so magnificent that you won't believe when it's there. The wonder, the miracle. It's granted because I feel the feminines have chosen themselves. gentle, kind and comforting to my inner child as we uncover and release the old negative messages from family and society. The process of shedding limiting beliefs from childhood is still taking place. Be very patient. You might be in a different stage than your masculine and whoever. I use my words and thoughts as tools to shape my future. We are very powerful manifestors right now. And um, we've always been. Maybe we didn't realize it, but with reaching next stages of healing, we become even more powerful. Manifestations appear faster and faster. So make sure you are very careful with what you say, with what you think, because it will come manifest. Life is very simple. Life doesn't have to be a struggle. If it felt like a struggle, like war, it doesn't have to be this way. Many things can be simplified. Many battles don't have to be fought. 
many weights don't have to be lifted. There is a gentle way of living life. I create my experiences by my thinking and feeling patterns. Thinking and feeling patterns. We can develop new habits and decide every day that our thoughts are redirected. We are the masters, kings and queens of our thoughts, of our reality, and we can change the way we think. It takes time. I've been trying to develop new habits too. Of course, there are setbacks, but it's possible. What I believe about myself and about life becomes true for me. Disappointments and hurts tend to keep us in a cage of believing that this is how people are, this is how the world is. Change the belief, belief and your world will change. I appreciate others for who they are. That's very much connected with accepting yourself unconditionally and loving yourself. If you practice that, if um, you get to the stage of embracing yourself with all your flaws and insecurities, you will have that compassion, develop that compassion, because I'm sure you already have it. Um, develop that compassion for yourself and for others. So sometimes we have more compassion for others than we have for ourselves. Embrace yourself. Hug your inner child. Be your best friend. Say, it's okay. Today I did not do everything I planned to do. It's still fine. I'm still at peace with myself. Allow others to be who they are, where they are. Let them be. Don't control. You will feel so much better. Fiery transmutation. Fiery transmutation leading to new source of love. Something's charging in, some sort of um, offer, opportunity, something, and it's 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 unexpected. Let it be. I am wonderful. I rejoice in the truth of my being. I let my light shine. Light shine. This is the time of the goddess rising. We no longer hide. We are ready to step into the limelight or daylight and express ourselves. We are unique. You are unique, but it doesn't mean perfect. Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. Let it go. There's so many things. There's burdens that we carry that block our manifestation. Just let it go. Practice forgiving. Not only in your mind, but also in your heart. Honesty. Be honest with yourself. Ask yourself again. What do I want from life? What do I want to give to the world? These things change. Worry. The mindset of relaxation. Creating the habit of making decisions from the place of peace instead of from the place of anxiety.
still shedding beliefs, ending, ending that cycle of being trapped in our own head. There's so much more trust for love, for life, for Mother Earth keeping us safe and providing. With this kind of mindset, with this power of trust, you will manifest. I release the need to know all the answers. Yes, I trust that the happiness is granted. Happiness is our birthright. And whenever you need guiding system, that's a feeling. Living life from the place of passion. Shaman of song. What's your authentic voice? What is that you want to express? What is that you want to give to the world? What is the truth that you want to tell the world? How you want to connect with the world and others? Inhabitants of planet Earth. Exile. Don't be afraid to leave things, people behind. Things might fall away, there might be a shakeup. The standards have changed. Someone rising their standards. I no longer let people treat me this way. Hope. I always hope that there is better, there is better for me. I don't need to accept what I'm not comfortable with. I don't need to accept what I know is unjust. I don't need to accept the life that I don't want to live. God is rising. There is destruction. There is a tower moment. Something is being dismantled. Dismantled for our greatest good. Protected by inspiration. Living our life from the place of gifts, living our life from the place of passion. And just letting everything else crumble. Our ancestors showing us the tongue. Let it go, be playful. Just have fun, enjoy life. Yes, you, you can, we, we allow you. <laughs> We allow you to enjoy life this time. Hunter of honor. Remember about your foundation of integrity, pure heart. Kingdom of this world belongs to those of pure heart. And the pure hearted are joyful, are childlike inside, are clean. You might come together with other people who have this fire in their hearts. If you follow that flame, the golden flame in your heart, others will come very quickly.
Past memories need to be reconciled. I feel that. Um, there's purging of past painful memories. They, they need to be... felt, heard, they need to be embraced and released. And next thing that comes is emotional freedom and healthy relationships from the place of choice and not from the place of attachment. Joyful journey, being in motion keeps the energy flow. Move. That helps you shine. Move your body. Travel if you can. Stars. Go for go for that promise. There's beautiful, beautiful promise that will be fulfilled. It's up the stairs that you're going. Stairway to heaven. Heaven can be here. It's here. If, if we let it. That heaven can be with someone you reconcile with or that heaven can be an ending and a new beginning. There's different paths. Hmm. There's birth right after death. It's just a transition. It's another step in our stairway to heaven and It's a miracle how people can transform. But don't hold on to any expectation. Dance with life. Let it unfold. Be okay with not knowing. You don't always have to have a plan. It's great to have a strategy. It feels safe. It feels rational. But sometimes it's okay to flow. That's for the bravest, isn't it? Begin. Begin living life from the place of trust, from the place of tapping into your gifts. And these gifts will just unlock. They are already inside of you. They just need to unlock. But don't sit and wait until your gifts unlock. Begin. And they will unlock in the process. If you want to sing and you're waiting for your gifts of singing to unlock, you'll be waiting forever. You need to begin. And while you sing, your talent will open. And it applies to anything else. Boundaries. You are very precious. Your vessel is clean. And that's why you need to set healthy boundaries. That can sometimes be a challenge because we like to be nice. A nice is overrated it's okay to say no healthy now is totally fine wisdom look Turn, turning knowledge and experience into wisdom now we know where are our boundaries now we know how to say 
No. Strength. You know that power that you possess, you don't always have to present all of it. Be very mindful with managing your own energy. Be very loving, caring and mindful managing your own energy. Guidance from the angels. Have the courage. Have the courage to embrace the unknown. Have the courage to try new paths. Have the courage to open your heart to new people despite your past experiences. Have the courage to explore. You're an explorer. You enjoy the challenge. Because you know that's the truth of your heart. Pure being. Hunter of dreams. I believe in you. Expansion and joy. You might be loving color red, eating red vegetables, drinking red beverages. It's just because red is the color of power, it's the color of root chakra. You are connecting with the power of the Mother Earth and this way your energy manifests better. And you're expanding, you're growing, you're joyful. Look. Angel of joy. You are the angel of joy. Accept your magnificence and share it with the world wisely. I hope that helps. I'm very proud of you and I hope you keep growing, blossoming and bringing beauty, love and light to this world to this world. Thank you so much. Take care now.